This is how easy it is to collapse. This is how easy it is to bring your spark guard to your workstation. It just opens up that easily. You set it up to where you want to keep your sparks from catching stuff on fire. Right now we got pine straw laying around. We don't want to catch on fire. The man sets it up to keep the sparks from catching the pine straw on fire. We're going to show you now how he can be grinding away, cutting the pipe on the other side and the sparks don't come through the, the fire retard fabric. So it's a safe environment outside this. We're putting this on a continuous railroad track so you can see that the spark guard's made to have stuff coming out of the front end of it. We've got an extra cover made, but we split the seam so you can lay it over your, and let the pipe or whatever you got coming through and lay this to keep the sparks from coming through. You stay back here and work and everything's protected. I'm going to flip it around now so you can see the back side of it because we can't flip the railroad tracks. <laughs> this is the first versions that we made. They look like this. And so one of the guys said that he thought we need some extra protection for sparks. So we sewed a piece of Velcro, a piece of Velcro on this and on top of the skirt. You can Velcro this on there and you can put an extra cover in there. We think these things will last many a years, but sometimes you're throwing them in and out of your truck and stuff that might get a rip in them. So if you ever need a replacement cover, we'll show you how to put one on, take one off and put one on. We're gonna show you that right now if you've had a spark guard for eight or ten years you need to buy a replacement cover because the cover's getting wore out you don't have to buy a whole new unit you can just buy a replacement cover this man right here is going to show you how to take it off and put it on 